Hello, 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 and happy Tuesday to all of my wonderful Aries. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with my with a very special reading on today. Happy Tuesday. How are you all doing on this Mercury retrograde? Hmm, that is the question. Yes, let's get into it, Aries. This is a general reading. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. These cards right here are the Light Series Tarot deck by Chris Ann. These cards right here are the Sacred Self Care Oracle deck by Jill Pyle. Let's get on into it, Aries Most High God in the Universe. Please give me a special reading for my wonderful Aries as it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality, and where they need to take action. Let's talk about it, Aries. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I want you to say, I am an Aries, <laughs> loud and proud. I am an Aries. I'm a strong leader. I have amazing self-confidence, positive energy. I want you to remember that during this Mercury retrograde. I am brave. I am creative. I am courageous. I am determined. I am confident. I am enthusiastic. I am optimistic. I am honest. I am passionate. I am passionate and I am a God. I don't want you all to let Mercury retrograde. And Mercury is a planet of, it's a messenger planet, right? So there could be some concerns with communication, could be some concerns with technology, can even be some concerns with travel, but I don't want you to let it get you down at all, Aries, not at all. I want you to remember those things about yourself that, again, you're a strong leader. You have amazing self-confidence, positive energy. Remember, you are positive energy. You are the first sign in the zodiac. Yes, you are brave. You are creative. You are passionate. You are honest. I want you to say, I am optimistic, enthusiastic, confident, determined, courageous, and I am a God. So that means I am a creator. I make things happen for myself so I can speak things into existence. Like I said, I know you all are having a fantastic day because that is the intention you said, Aries. Let's go. Let's go. Right. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Yes. Leaders, 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 entrepreneurial spirits. I need you all to take the blindfolds off. Boom. We have the two of swords. We're going to talk about that in just a second. We have the page of wands, childlike exuberance. I know some of you all are expecting some news. Page of Pentacles, new windows of opportunity when it comes to money. I see that you all have had some challenging relationships. And when I talk about relationships, be very clear, and especially for my new subscribers and my new supporters. Welcome. Hi. Um, listen, so when I talk about relationships, I'm not just talking about romantic relationships. Some of you all have good, solid marriages, good, solid partnerships. I'm not talking about that. There's no need for you to worry and be like, oh, is she talking about my marriage? No, I am not. Relationships under the, under the relationship umbrella, I could be talking about um, your professional relationship, your platonic relationships, or your professional relationships, okay? So under the relationship umbrella, some of you all has, have had some very challenging relationships with colleagues, with family members, and some of you all in your uh, romantic relationships. But nevertheless, you pull through and you do not look like what you've been through. And I've said this in earlier readings about Aries, you all never really look like what you're going through. You know, and Aries could be going through hell and high water, and still come out the house looking fabulous or still come out the house looking, you know, you know, very, very nice, very well put together. So, yes, definitely mental dexterity there. You all are able to do multiple things very successfully at once and not look like you're going through, a, a, a you know, some kind of an ordeal. Here we have the sun card, which is attached to another fire sign, Leo. Right. And then we also have um, the king of wands. So it lets me know right here that some of you all have had some challenging relationships in business. Right. And so you could be looking for new windows of opportunity when it comes to money. But listen, I want you all to stay focused, focused, focused. This is why I said in the beginning, take the blindfolds off. By the way, we we're talking about the number 28 as well today. I want you to take the blindfolds off because the blindfolds, putting on blindfolds because you've been through such a challenging time will 
um, actually um, block you from seeing the good around you. There are tons of people who are giving you all kinds of tips and pointers, tons of people who are giving you some great ideas. I want you to really focus Aries, please hear me. I want you to really focus on the high vibrational energy around you, especially now during Mercury retrograde, because there's a lot of miscommunication going on. Let's say, for instance, somebody sends a text message or email or something like that. And sometimes text messages and emails can be so impersonal that the person really could just be rushing while they're sending it and then just hit the send, you know, hit the send button and off it goes to, you know, several people, you know, in the group. And then all of a sudden it's like, what does this person mean by this? I can't believe. Okay. Don't do that. Right. If you have a question about something that was sent via email or whatever, just pick up the phone or, you know, conference through Outlook, you know, um, Skype or whatever and just call the person and say, hey, you know, I just want to make sure I'm going to get some clarification on your text message or email or whatever the case may be. Again, Mercury is the messenger planet, right? So communication could be a little garbled, you know, during this time. I want you to take the blindfolds off, right? And be very careful before you um, assume the worst, right? Because it may not be as bad as you think it is. But like I said, remember who you are. You are positive energy. You are leaders. You are very creative. You all are bold, brave, right? Yes, again. And some of you all have Leo in your chart. So if that's the case, you know, all fire signs have some things in common, right? So, but if you have Leo in your chart, you got to remember something. I want you to keep your eyes on the prize and you are the prize. I want you to remember that. Remember, you are caring. If you have Leo in your chart, you are caring. Remember, you live a great life. You're optimistic. You are a natural leader. You're very kind and protective. You are loyal. You're honest. You're vivacious. You're you're also humorous. You like to laugh, right? I'm to, we're tapping into the Leo in you. If you have Leo in you, you're also very creative. You're passionate. You're very generous. You're warm-hearted. You're cheerful. Yes, and you are a healer. Yes, the sun is medicine for every single person on this planet. It is medicine, vitamin D, right? So you got to remember who you are, you know, in all of this, right? Let's talk about the number 28 for just a second. 28 is a powerful number because 28 means that um, you have an original approach to life very unique and inventive ideas. It also makes you want to explore life to the fullest and it ignites your ambitious nature. It means also that you have an innate remembering of who you are at a soul level and you're here to remind others of that eternal connection. So remember your position in this this uh, universe. You are here to really, really help people along their journey and keep a very positive, high vibrating energy Right. And so be very careful about how you respond to something that could just simply be, you know, miscommunication. OK. Yes. We don't need Aries. I know how y'all can clear out of room now. <laughs> we don't need y'all going from zero to a thousand. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because there's too much beauty around you. And there's too many people. Also, there's too many eyes on you. A lot of people look to Aries because you all are leaders. You are the first sign in the Zodiac. And a lot of people look to you all as being that positive energy. So if you have to physically go into the office and your, your colleagues are tripping, <laughs> acting cray cray, you know, hey, just smile and keep it moving. Unless, you know, unless, of course, they actually say something off the cuff to you or, you know, they're talking out the side of their neck or they're saying something crazy or whatever. And you still stop them and you just say, hey, what was that? You know, I just want to make sure I didn't misunderstand you. Right. You give them an opportunity to say, oh, my God, you know what? I haven't had my coffee yet, which to me is a lame excuse for being rude to people. Whenever I would hear people say, oh, I just haven't had my coffee yet. I'm like, child, bye. <laughs> You got to figure it out. So, yes. So, anyway, um, um, you know, sometimes those caffeine addictions will get you every single time. You know, people get it twisted. So, listen, I want you all to also be in a posture of gratitude, like really be in a posture of gratitude. Really look at your life. So let's say you're having problems with some colleagues and your home life is great. You know, your kids are healthy. You know, you feeling good. You woke up this morning. You stretching and yawning. You smiling. You happy. You set your intentions. Boom. All of that. 
Don't let people in the workplace change that for you. Or even if you're teleworking and you log into your computer and you see some crazy emails, hey, just pick up the phone because you're still, you're not, remember, you are the one who set your intention. So you're not letting someone else determine how your day is going to go. So you pick up the phone and you say, hey, happy Tuesday. Instantly, you've changed their spirit because of your high vibrational energy. I just got an email from you. What was this? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? You want to make sure that the person is just no misunderstanding because, again, sometimes when people haven't had their coffee or they haven't had their morning walk or morning run or whatever the case may be, and I know I'm talking to people all over the world. I have subscribers from all over the world. So whatever time of the day it is, my point to you is that you, Aries, get to set the tone for the rest of the world, okay? You set the tone as high as you want to set it. Don't go into it with a mindset like, okay, well, letting the other person determine what kind of day you're going to have. Remember, they are not your God and you're not theirs, but you are in control of your universe. So you, st you set the tone. So yes, stay in the posture of gratitude. Y'all got this. Y'all got this. As you know, I ain't trying to be a character witness at, in the courtroom, you know, talking about, yeah, they really are a good person, but you know, they just had a moment. <laughs> be like, that's you, Queen Amun Ra. Yes, I'm, I'm here for you. I got you. I'm back there rubbing your back, telling you just calm down. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Yes. Putting a little candy on my purse and everything, just trying to soothe you, making sure you're okay, you're good. Yeah, you don't have to go from zero to a thousand on people. Here we have, I see you are receiving money. Nice. So I want you to be expecting that, to receive money. Also, I see new windows of opportunity for you, which is great, great, great. See how this window doesn't even fit on this entire card? I see a lot of wonderful things happening for you also. Do not, do not, do not let Mercury retrograde trip you up, okay? Because of the communication. It affects every single sign differently, right? And so for you, before you launch, you know, go from zero to a thousand. Just breathe, right? First of all, before you get out of the bed, set your intentions. Today is a great day. A great day. So that means I'm not letting anybody around me dictate otherwise. So here we go. Yes. So I see a lot of prospects in your cards. A lot of new opportunity, work opportunities, new clients, new this, new that. A lot of wonderful things happening for you all. So don't focus on the small stuff, especially if a relationship is ending. Maybe a work relationship is ending. Or that person, you're not taking that person home with you. You don't sleep with that person. Y'all are not best buddies. None of that stuff, right? And even if it was, you know, somebody who was a friend and they, they were exposed during the retrograde or the last full moon, hey, it is what it is. You know what you know. Now it's time to move forward. But again, take the blindfolds off. This is you getting to the heart of the matter. Some of the relationships that you have, a lot of people make friends at work, right? Uh, I have opinions on that, but I'll keep that to myself. They're your colleagues because when money enters the picture, relationships change real quick. Okay. So y'all got to be careful about that. But again, getting to the heart of the matter for you is no longer heartbreak. It just is what it is. It's like, okay, what did I learn? What lessons did I learn from maybe a challenging relationship at work or a challenging friendship? What did I learn from those? Even a challenging romantic relationship. What lessons that I learned and what best practices can I use moving forward? It's always that mindset, keeping your vibrations high. What can I use moving forward? Not, oh my God, I can't believe that person did this to me. Okay, it happened. All right. What did you learn from it? What did you learn from it? Okay. I see you being victorious. Boom. Expect money and expect being victorious and you're coming in for the last stretch of this long and arduous path that you've been on. So I need you all to keep your vibrations high. Do not get blinded. Take the blindfolds off. Do not get blinded but why, by what a person says to you, right? Address it immediately and keep it moving forward. Keep the vibrations high, you see? Keep your vibrations high and always stay in a sunny disposition, be in a posture of gratitude and just know, hey, this, this too shall pass. <laughs> ah, yes, this too shall pass. 
You're not even gonna let anybody break your stride. You just gotta keep moving forward, 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 forward motion. Yes, keep moving forward. Write a gratitude list. This is why I like to shuffle the cards in front of you all. I want you to write a gratitude list. What are you most grateful for? Yes, what are you most grateful for during this time? I'm trying to keep you all focused, Aries, because I know a lot of people are going through a lot of things. And I know you all being the first sign in the zodiac and you all having this positive energy. A lot of people try to come for your throat. They try to come at your neck sideways, trying to provoke you. Do not be provoked, right? You got this, Aries. You really, really got this. I need you all to stay focused, write your gratitude list, and if you need to carry it around in your pocket, you know, just in case somebody says or does something to try to provoke you, I need you to pull that list out and just remember why you are in Aries and what your high vibration characteristics look like. Do we need to run it back? I think we do. Rewind. I am a strong leader. Say this, Aries. I'm a strong leader. I have amazing self-confidence. I am positive energy. Yes, I am brave. I am creative. I am very courageous. I am determined. I'm confident. I am enthusiastic. I am optimistic. I am honest. And I am a passionate God. I am a God. I mean, meaning that you're not trying to be someone else's God and you're certainly not making them yours. Your job is not your God. Another person is not your God. I don't care if they're your spouse or your kids. I don't care what it is. It's not your God. And you're not their God. So you're not trying to control them. All you can do is stand in your power and continue to be great. That is what I have for you, Aries. Again, happy Tuesday. Bye.